This is episode 65 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 15th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve deep dive into a fruited sour, a double West Coast IPA, a triple IPA, and an adjunct infused Baltic porter. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Hello. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Tech guy, Steve. And we got a a little mashup of beers today, Charlie. And you're back in person. Back in person. Yay. So we, uh, what are we starting off with, Charlie? We're getting into some Sphinx from uh, Mort. Mortalis Brewing or Mortalis. Some people said it was Mortalis. I said Mortalis, but it sounds better, Mortalis. But it's a uh, sour with some uh, bunch of fruit in it, man. Should be uh, should be pretty amazing. Sour ale brewed with uh, pineapple, blackberry, ice cream, and coconut. Maybe yeah, so they there, Steve. they they mentioned this as a, a fruited sour blends together blackberry, pineapple, coconut cream, lactose free ice cream. A tropical oh, smoothie experience is what they... Uh, that's going to be delish, my friend. Let me tell you that right now. Or is it like a... Like Burgundy. A, like a magenta. Oh, my gosh. It smells fantastic. <clears throat> we should do this every day for uh, like at least two weeks. It's like Straight. it pours super thick. <laughs> it is a little slushy. Steve, Chris, I'm afraid you guys shouldn't drink this. Pour it in my glass. It's just too much for you. Pretty sure that's nobody's gonna like it. Phenomenal. Mm. What's the name of the brewery again? Mortalis or Mortalis. Somebody said Mortalis to me one time, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. Was it local? What? I missed the whole. I wasn't paying attention to the beginning. Did you say where it was from? Uh, New York, I believe. Is that correct, Charlie? I'm looking there on the side of the can. Uh, Avon, New York. There you go. uh, the location. Um, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> smells Corn. really fruity. Really, a lot of berries on there. Remember, you don't like sour, Steve, so just kind of lay off. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that oh, is a, like a fruit drink that you, mm. oh, you could swim in that. It's so good. Did you shake the, move the can around? I just got it today, so I didn't oh. have to move it much. I threw it around in the back seat of my car for a while. I have to remember to do that. Roll them around. Yeah, I forgot the last time. Yeah, yeah you get to the bottom and there's uh, like chunks and stuff. Yeah, a little different viscosity. <laughs> Real in the clunkers bottom, at the bottom. <laughs> I kind of like those. That's super tasty, Charlie. Uh, way to come it's, through. It's very fresh mm. and very good. I went, I saw it and I said, I got to have that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, I just know that they make quality smoothie beers. So, mm. yeah, no, that is a great. Uh, and these are hard to ship, right? Yeah, they were just out, so I wonder. The, I mean, they were they were at Bottlecraft, so they. Uh, I would just dumped all their leftovers there. <laughs> they did have some. They were at the. Uh, were the they most pouring out of cans? I don't remember. No, I thought they had a keg. Yeah, easy. Yeah, they they probably did, but man, mm. I like it a lot. It reminds me of the answer. Oh yeah, right up there. Yes, sir. That. I would right love to see alley. a collaboration between those two breweries, knocking one of these out of the park. You know, this is legit. There's a legit. You know, those uh, answer fruities are just bangers every time. I mean, I don't, I don't. I've only had one that I didn't really. It wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong, but it just didn't. I would have preferred something else. It had chocolate in it, and you could taste the chocolate. Mm. But it also had raspberry, so it was like a raspberry chocolate. Very, very tasty, but it was just way too sweet for me and decadent, you know, rich. Let's put it that way. But, man, I love it. I love it a lot. Yeah, this is really tasty. Um, <sighs> I'm uh, I'm a fan of, of what you got going on there. Well, I have that can, that other can that we can do at another time of the straight Hydra, which is in this same ballpark of flavors. So, I like it. I drink. First ones I got of these were up at uh, Mostra when they had a sale mm-hmm. release there. They did uh, like the Mostra experience, like with uh, uh, Mortalis, right? Yeah. And, like had a. They had cans available, and I bought uh, I think 
a four pack and or two four packs and I handed some of them out and I should have probably not done that so because <laughs> now I'm missing them <laughs> I'm missing out on what I sh what I gave away I guess but uh, still fantastic the ones that I had but this is a tasty tasty beverage folks and you can get this at uh, Bottlecraft right now 100 percent they have five different flavors up there and they have a um, I think they have a collaboration with uh, e Equilibrium or somebody. I don't know who it is. Hmm. Another brewery, but this one's straight up, though, I think. So, anywho, should we go to our next Yeah, what do you got next, victim? Charlie? I got to wash out, too. Take your time. Mm. I can edit it out. That's the bad thing about these fruited beers. You can't. It's really hard to read. <laughs> right. For sure. I like that Hydra. Beer. All right. Back on track. Okay, I pulled out of the bullpen here. The next one up is uh, Eagle Squadron from North Park. And this is a collaboration with Horace Aged Ale. So this ought to be pretty doggone interesting. It's a double dry hopped um, West Coast double IPA. So, mm. so this week is uh, San Diego Beer Week. And uh, last Look at that, Saturday... Kristen. Uh, Horace, uh, or excuse me, North Park released uh, a barrel aged stout with um, with Horace, as well as the uh, West Coast uh, double IPA. Which you know, I'm a huge West Coast guy, as is Steve. Big time Jones are for West Coast IPAs, is what you are. So they uh, uh, North Park gives their write up on this beer. They say they're uh, for their latest IPA. They team, uh, teamed up with their good buddy Kyle over at Horace Age Dales to bring you the majestic double dry hopped West Coast double IPA Eagle Squadron. This high flyer is migrating a mega payload of dank resin, floral pine, citrusy orange, fruity blueberries directly to your taste buds, courtesy of a gaggle of hops. What are those hops? They're a bevy of Warrior, Centennial, Citra Cryo, Citra Incognito, Mosaic, Woo. Mosaic Cryo, Simcoe, Simcoe Cryo, and Chinook Hops. No, you did not read that wrong. Mr. Hop Fu himself flew, uh, 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 flew within it. Uh, uh, this this uh, write-up is wrong, but it says Mr. Uh, Mr. Hop Fu himself flew within on the the back of his newly acquired squad leader and dropped off another delicious brew for you to enjoy. Uh, in the words of our fearless leader, the eagle has landed. Yeah. Right up. Yeah, I think that should have said Mr. Hop flew. Mr. Hop flew himself flew I'm, with these on his back. I'm going to say the smell is not as impressive as other things I've smelled down there. I mean, I am I am the biggest fan of hop foo, mm. but this ain't... This you ain't, smell it out of a can? Yeah, I did. Okay. Smell it out of this, too. Not a huge fan of that, Charlie? No, I'm just, it's, it did, oh, wow. and I tasted it. <laughs> I'll take your beer. Yeah, I know. Why don't you <laughs> go get another? It's off. I didn't come here to watch. See, mm. this is what I dream of when. Oh, my gosh. All beer tastes like this and yeah. fruity sour go not away. I'm there, you know? man. I don't oh. know. I can't. I can't Make do West it. Make West Coast IPAs great again. Yeah. Try it. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I think they did that. That's a banger right there. That's uh, super, super tasty. I just love how, like. Those, I mean, they make the best. Uh, I'm, I'm, you heard it here, uh, maybe not first, but best West Coast IPAs in town, right there, that place. I don't know. I don't know who makes a better one than than those guys consistently. I'll think of somebody. You think? Give me a minute. I'll. They're better than that. I want to taste it. Well, that's a uh, forty makes a pretty good West Coast IPA too. That could be. See that hot foo. If you tasted those two next to each other, mm -hmm. they're completely not even close taste because mm. i enjoy hot food you just don't, don't enjoy this no it's just not like that uh, you know what i think it is i think it's the alcohol content i think i'm getting too much it's eight percent i i don't really i just taste a lot of hops i just taste a medley yeah. of hops <laughs> like hot you know food. i think it takes the resin what is what he's, he was talking about in there in that description mm. resiny that's an awesome West Coast IPA. I understand, Charlie. I, I mean, some of us just don't have sophisticated no, palates as the others have the of palates us. No, we palates like you gentlemen. <laughs> like us sophisticates over here with our pinkies held high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just more of a, just a crazy locker guy and uh, yeah. hazy IPA and then a banger stouts and sours. And you guys are the IPA. There you go. Wingers. Squadron leaders. I'm a okay. fan of that. This that's a really uh, that's a tasty beverage. Yeah. I don't know. I just like what it's I mean. Too bitter for me. Is it? Yeah. 
I mean, it's it's got everything I look for in that that West Coast IPA. It's clean. It's crisp. There's so you just think the hop. this is better than hop food? I don't. I don't know. I I still think hop food is my my favorite. I love what he. We does should pop with, that right now and see. I mean, I know it's <laughs> one of my favorite beers in town. I I, I think hop food is better. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry, North Park. But well, it, it it it's it's. It's not bad. I can say that, but I just, it's not my go to. If I was going to get a West Coast IPA, I'm going to go to that hop mm-hmm. food every day. Well, I went down there and uh, I thought it was so tasty last Saturday. I not I only got one pour, but I got a second pour and then I got a four pack. Oh, so, I, uh, so you, can I, go, you can still get this? You can't. Okay. Yeah, it's still available. Uh, they, they also had hot food, but and I was. Party Cup's back. Party Cup was oh, back. Party what cup. else was there? Birdie An army the of the kind of deadish. Yeah, that'll be another one. Though. That was uh, that won a silver medal. So yeah, no, they they had a lot of IPAs down there, and and then this Saturday I think they have a release with uh, other half, an mm-hmm. oatmeal or an oat. Uh, what is it? An oat IPA, like yeah. a creamy, hazy. You know, hazy IPA. I think I'll go show up for that. There you go. Be uh, dancing in the street down there with my hazy IPA. They know how to make them. Both wow. of those guys, dude, both just... other half and North Park are, I mean, some of the best ones I've ever tasted there. Them, Humble Sea and North Park. So other half, Humble Sea and North Park, three of the top haziers. Yeah. And Pure Project. Gosh, you got to throw those guys in there. <laughs> so what else we got on, uh, on tap, Charlie? Oh, you want another beer, do you? We're going to go Possibly. straight from uh, your double to triple IPA. We got a little Lua and Colossus. So this this Colossus is uh, is, is from a brew pub in in Des Moines, Iowa called uh, Lua Brewing. Uh, they and this is their their double dry hopped triple IPA. This they use uh, awfully good uh, Strata, uh, Nelson, uh, Citra, Citrus Cryo, uh, Citra Cryo, and uh, Cashmere and Idaho Seven. It's kind of a hazy look. So these guys, I was uh, when I was in Minnesota, I was fortunate enough to uh, to to taste one of their uh, their stouts, and it was awesome. It was very Ooh, very. It tasty. smells so more tropical than that last beer, and this is a triple. This is ten percent. So your your Eagle Squadron was eight. eight. This eight. is ten. We're we're pumping it up, pumping up the volume here. It smells a heck of a lot better. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't smell as hoppy. Resiny. Yeah, was my word I was using. Resiny. Yeah, this this smells really really good. If if we can get some more of this, that would be good. I, yeah. I just live off the smell. I think. I don't know if you can. Like you know, my my uh, my buddy that gave me this bottle said this is this is one of the hottest breweries in the Midwest right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't oh drink too my many, goodness. We don't drink too many IPA whales. No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We don't. Uh, we don't have too many IPAs in a yeah, bottle. Yeah. This is this is more my. More my style. This is just a regular. This isn't West Coast, so might even be a little uh, East, you know, New England stylish. Slight. Oh, that is good. Yeah. It's just pour a little, little hazy, doesn't it? Yeah. There is a little left for okay. you. Yeah, you need to pour some. You're cheating yourself over there. Cheating yourself. I, uh, I'm Ooh. scared of a ten percent. That triple. smells like that. And yeah, I like know that, that definitely yeah. smells That's phenomenal. Danger, Will Robinson. Um. Mm. Yeah, you don't taste anything. Wow. On the I'm in. Side. Let's go there. You could uh right now I'm flying into Des Moines tomorrow. I don't know if you can fly. Yeah, I guess you can, huh? Hey. Fly into Des Moines. You pay enough money, you get to fly Yeah, no, yeah, more. exactly. Drop me off in that farmer's field. <laughs> Here's your parachute. Parachute out at thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Crop duster take you from one farm field to the next. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Wow, Chris. So that was uh, that was all right, huh? Yeah, yeah that that's a, really, really that's good. a big jump from what we just drank. You think? Yeah, it's, it's just like, a different direction. It is. It's yeah. A, yeah, so much milder on the resiny part. Very tropical, and they cut off probably uh, ten or twenty IBUs out of that. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly doesn't smell like you know. You take a uh, take a big old smell of that. It doesn't smell hoppy at all, right? Yeah, just I a remember, little bit. I remember back when Sam Adams did that triple, Ooh. the very first one, like in a blue bottle. It was just super expensive, and you just like tasted it, and it was like, oh, there's so much alcohol in this. Like, yeah, it just wasn't. That's super sweet too, on huh, mm-hmm. the back end. 
Wow, super smooth. Mm -hmm. Like certainly doesn't drink like a like a ten percent. Good mm. lord! Oh my gosh! It's kicking our butt. That's what it's doing. That is a really good beer. Gosh, should have bought a case of these. Yeah, no, that's a that's a tasty beer. That was the okay. Uh, so the triple. Yeah, we've had some other beers with from Strata. No, I don't think we have. Oh, maybe if we have, it's been like a collab with Toppling Goliath or something. Yeah. So the this logo is... looks familiar. It's just because I okay. come collecting all the oh, logos right. of all the beer breweries. It has Strata, Nelson, Solvin, Citra, Citra, Citra Cryo, Idaho Seven, and Cashmere. What wow. were the ones in that one? There was a long list too. Yeah, <laughs> sounded like a lot of the same. Hops. It's right there on the side. Let you uh, do a say that. Read it out loud, brother. There you go. I'll let you uh, take a peeky. Uh huh. Okay. No. Chinook, Centennial, Mosaic, Semicone, and Citra. No, they're not even close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's just a lot of them. Yeah. The only Maybe thing it was just the amount that I was. Mm -hmm. The only thing they uh, have in common is they're both hops. <laughs> they're, they're cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one's a stout, the other one's a... <laughs> one's in a can, they one's both, in a bottle. They both grow on a vine at I one point. I think the, the percentage of alcohol is getting to you guys. Yeah. I know it's yeah. getting to me. <laughs> Wow. And these guys, you know, they, uh, you know, I'm running through their their collabs here, who they who they've previously collabed with, Blackstack, uh, which is a, is a great brewery there in uh, the Midwest uh, or in, in in Minneapolis. They actually have a they have a sister brewery that popped up. It's called Bricksworth, and they make uh, um, Detroit style pizza, mm -hmm. and then they make some wings. Their wings uh, were supposed to be a big wing connoisseur. Uh, Some kind of sewer. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> um, they they allegedly have the best uh, dry rub wings in the mm. metropolitan area. I had to go test drive that. They were pretty alright. They were good. They were good. They were really good. Mm. And they uh, did you get like a two. Their pounds? hazy IPAs were great. Um, I actually I did get two pounds. I got a, and then I got a whole pizza for myself. <laughs> wow. So I got like a. It was a lot of food. You um, ate your weight and your food. No, and then I well. No, I didn't. I didn't finish it. I, I, I didn't. I was going to, and then I realized I had double booked myself, um, so I, I couldn't stick around and try to uh, try to eat it. Um, try to beat the record. Yeah, but it was uh, <laughs> it was tasty for sure. No doubt. Mm -hmm. So this last beverage we have, gentlemen. Before we get to that, what beers did you guys have this? Oh week? yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Chris. Um, you know, I, I uh, um swung into uh north park the other day for uh just to kind of you know partake in a little bit of uh the the san diego beer week festivities you took uh potty mouth with you. i did so we we dropped in there and had a couple of uh, uh a couple of beverages um and i i think you know i had that that horus aged ale i had the horus stout that they did with with north park it was really good it was uh um, barrel aged stout. Um, I don't think it was. I don't think there was any adjuncts. It was just uh, super tasty. It was a lot of dates. Tasted like you know, like a little date. Drink. Date shake. Great. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Steve, I tried something I hadn't tried before because it's always in the store, but I'd never tried it before. So it was the Firestone Flyjack, ninety six cal, um, hazy. Oh, the lightweight. Yeah, the lightweight one. But I've never really had it before. So I tried that and I liked it. It was. It was enjoyable. It was it was beer, right? It was, yeah, I mean, um, but you can get that just about anywhere. <laughs> yeah, where'd you find it? At? Good I think taste. it was a Smart and Final. I think Smart yeah. and Final. Yeah, was it like it a full wasn't, flavor. No, I mean you could tell that the light thing had uh -huh. cut down on it, but uh, it wasn't. I don't know. If you guys know this. Uh, this week I had. I was in. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I yeah, but I'm just trying to think like like a normal hazy IPA. Yeah, you know, it was a step down, but it's not. Sure. It's not like undrinkable, like, and it wasn't a terrible taste. Yeah. Well, uh, for me, and it had some taste. I headed off to uh, Las Vegas to hang out with Mick and the boys. I went and saw the Rolling Stones in Vegas with uh, my daughter, her husband, and his dad. Mm. And we had a blast. It was wonderful. It was a great concert. We were in the new Raiders Stadium, which is a brand new stadium. So we, if we'd have gone to the one in L.A., we would have been able to see that one and then go there and see that one. That would have been pretty. It's, it's a beautiful facility, man. It's gorgeous. So brand new. So cool. You know, it's very uh, intimate, even though it's huge. 
Uh, but uh, talking about beers is um, uh, Mike pulled out the fall of Troy. Mm. That's Belching, that Belching beaver. beaver. They made some more of it. So I just found out that it was available. So I'm going to have to go run up there tomorrow or something. And uh, oh, no, I'm going to have to do it on Friday. Run up there and see if they have any more available up there in uh, Carlsbad, up there, uh, little spot up there. Because I love that. That's probably one of the best uh, milkshakey, uh, hazy IPAs that there is, man. It tastes like orange Julius. Delicious. But that was my big one for for me. But uh, it was fantastic, let me tell you that. Then we drank a lot of Coors Light at the stadium. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're like $12. Right. Or probably more than that, I think. Might even be like 20 bucks. What was the best beer they had that you could have had if you didn't want Coors Light? I would say, I mean, they had, Cor- I drank Corona is what I was drinking. Mm. Yeah. Because I love me a Corona anytime. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, I mean, yeah. it's just light on the alcohol yeah. and. That's what I like about the Padres. The, the, they they have really have, they've really expanded them. Oh, yeah. They sure. have almost all the uh, local beers in mm-hmm. San Diego. Almost all. I and mean, there's some that I don't think they have, I don't think they have uh, modern times there, do they? I don't yeah. know. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, they used to. They used to have a one little craft section where you could buy a 22-ounce yeah. bottle mm. for $25. They sell you a 22-ounce bottle and give you a 32-ounce mm-hmm. cup. I'm going to, uh, I think, the Vikings game in L.A. this weekend, so mm-hmm. I'll see what they have uh, for beverages at SoFi. I heard it wasn't very good, so we'll see. Yeah. It's probably. I'm going to do some Beachwood this weekend. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, Get some barbecue, fan. too. Man, yeah, I love that place. Yeah, they're. Uh, um, Beachwood. Nice you know what I would do is I would hit up. Pickles. I would hit up uh, Green Cheek on the way back mm. if I were you. The burgers there are phenomenal. Like oh, yeah. Uh, their, their little pub. They mm. are legit. That little Beachwood's phenomenal. Though. Yeah, can't yeah. beat it. They're all good. There's not too many bad breweries that are craft breweries. Not too many. There's a few. So we're uh, we're into the Baltic Joy here. This one Steve hauled out of his backpack for us. Yeah. I think he'd been carrying it around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a um, flavored porter from Sierra Nevada. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing this. Oh, we're going dirty too, man. Don't stop me. Look at that. That's some juicy bits there, man. Baltic Joy. So uh, the the, the write-up on this, uh, this beer is a real treat. A rich chocolatey Baltic porter with the addition of roasted coconuts and toasted almonds. Fantastic. The aroma is layered with mild malty sweetness and slight hints of coconut. Uh, The flavor, however, is something truly special. Uh, toasted malt, caramel flavors, coconut, chocolate, a touch of almonds all shine through in this complex brew. It also has hints of sweetness, but remains drinkable with a clean and refined finish. Did I ever tell you I was hooked on porters there for a while? Yep. Oh, okay. Never mind that. But you, you can go back. To the, <laughs> you can go back in the way back machine. <laughs> well, porters is stout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I grew up on uh, on uh, Guinness. You know, my dad was a big Guinness fan. Told you that. He loved Miller Genuine Draft. I still like this. Uh, but uh, also, he, him and my brother made their own beer. So uh, there was quite a plethora of beverage to drink at my house. I remember taking taking six packs of uh, homebrew to parties and stuff. People were going, what are you drinking? And I said, my dad's homebrew, man. What are you Some homebrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. It's awesome. It smells fantastic. I'm just thinking it's going to be this just tasty, creamy. I don't know. I've had four of them so far. <laughs> Before and you got here? Wow, you can really <laughs> taste that coconut, dude. That's delicious. Shockingly good. Yeah, from a major brewery. Almonds and coconut. From a major brewery, I think it's, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think between them and Stone, you know, you don't really think of them doing... Right. Like Ooh, small that is batch really good. sort of things. This is a small batch. You know thing. what? If they did thing. that with a stout, that might have been rock solid, man. That's really, really good. Pretty impressive. Kind of like it. You know, I had a uh, I had a milk stout the other day when I was at mm. this brewery in Minnesota. It was phenomenal. Which like, it was, one was it? so tasty. Bricks, uh, Bricksworth. It was that that place I was getting the, I got a, they make really good hazy IPAs. They're like the, 
the sister brewery of Blackstack, which, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they've collabed with, with all the breweries there. Horace just did some, some collabs with them. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, uh, so it's the sister brewery of that same family. Um, it was really good. It was super good. I hadn't had like a, like a, um, I mean, I guess a, like a milk stout and gosh, I, I can't remember. Yeah. Last I haven't had one since uh, left hand. Yeah, it was great. It was Drew super, super Nitro. good. That was a, uh, gosh, this, this is a, this is a, this is a porter and it's good, good. I mean, I remember, I love just porters with their just nasty, mm-hmm. you know, porter taste. The nastier something tastes, the more I liked it back when I was young. There used to be, a, did I tell you about that beer? That beer, it's called EKU 28. No. Nope. Back in the day. Oh my gosh. It was That's like pretty- the most, the highest alcohol content beer you could buy. Huh. It was a world record holder, and then there, then there, uh, then they uh, somebody made one from over in Europe. It's called Symptom Klaus, and then it was like Santa Claus on the front and stuff. That was like, you know, eighteen, nineteen percent oh, or something. It gosh. was ridiculous, and it was a regular beer, you know, like an ale, mm-hmm. and it was, uh, whew, it was some heavy hitters, man. But I, for some reason, I just love that EKU twenty eight, and uh, drank a lot of it. I like this. This is uh, this is easy drinking, like a light, you know, kind of light malty, little sweet. Where'd you pick this up at? I bought it online. Online, and they shipped it to my house. Oh, that's right, Sierra Nevada shipping. Yeah, yep. Anything over seventy five dollars is free shipping. So free ninety nine. So you had to buy two cases, or I bought uh, eight. Or um, two four packs, and then I bought two four packs of their hoppy lager and a crick. How was the uh, hoppy lager? It's real good. Is it? I can bring that. Was up. it a crick or was it a creek? I call it a crick. I think it's a. Uh, yeah, it <laughs> just depends on who. Creek. Creek. Is it? I think it's a creek. Yeah. But it has like the cherries, before. the sour with cherries. Yeah. 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 I'm looking forward. That's a Christmas. That's a Christmas party. Mm. I like it. Come to the Christmas party. You can have some. Ooh, I might just have some beers for that Christmas party. Yep. I might have to sleep in your front yard. <laughs> we have a trailer. <laughs> Perfect. I'll sleep under that. <laughs> I have to sleep in my yeah, Winnebago, but I'm like, just pull that up. And just... I could also just like jump in an Uber and be home in 10 minutes, you know. <laughs> Stagger home in an hour or two. <laughs> no, I like this, it. Is, this is good, man. Mm. Good call. No, that's super tasty. It's nice Very with the fire. Good. It's cooling off in San Diego here. You know? Well, because yeah. they changed the damn clocks on yeah, us, man. Mm-hmm. There they go. They got us. People are driving like it is. Yeah. No lights on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's trouble in itself. So, guys, we had a couple of beers. We had the uh, Mortalis, the Fruited Sour, the uh, the Sphinx to start it off with. Sphinx. We went to the Eagle Squadron uh, with the, you know from Horace and North Park. Uh, that West Coast IPA followed that up with Boys the, were the, smiling ear to ear on that the, one. The Lua Colossus. I was excited. Mm. And then uh, followed that up here with the Sierra Nevada, the uh, Baltic uh, Joy. The Baltic Joy. What'd you guys uh, what'd you guys think of those beers? Kind of it was a wide, wide range. Yeah. Huge right? like, variety there. You know, and, and I, I think some we do a lot of like West Coast IPAs. It would be the West Coast IPA show if it was my and we do a lot of fruit and sours. <laughs> You know, but but the uh, but it would the, be the West Coast IPA show. <laughs> right. If I had if I had anything to say about it, but the one thing we don't hit a whole lot of is porters and uh, yeah. and triples. Yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah. You know, so I thought the triple was amazing because yeah. usually when I have those, I'm like, ah. Eh. Okay, give us your order from top from start to finish on what your order was on. I'm really stuck on this porter. I really like it. I okay, have a lot of them, and then I go to the Eagle Squadron. And then, as much as I like that fruited sour, I think the triple IPA needs a plug because they did such a good job. With yeah, it. I, would, I would probably go um, the. Uh, I, I'm not even going to rate it. I feel like I'm cheating if I rate the, the West Coast <laughs> IPA, so I'm just going to leave that one out. Um, but I would go. I would go the the porter. Um, you know, for for second, third, and fourth place, I would go. I would go the, <laughs> the, the without the, saying the porter. And gosh, I think just because I, I, I don't drink a whole lot of porters and normally when I drink it, I want it. It's something I want to drink. So I drink a few tastes in and I'm like, ah, I'm back to the stout. So this is actually really tasty. Uh, and then I would, um, I think I go with the Hydra followed by the triple. Well, I'm going to take 
shocker here. I'm going to go with the Porter first, then the Lua, then the Hydra, and then the North part. Yep. Sorry. I mean, it's just, it was, it was, yeah. it's almost, hey, it's almost over gotta, the you top. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, there you go. I had to offset where I knew you were going with yeah. my, uh, you know, the yeah. jumping from fruity to fruiter. <laughs> that was awesome. No, those love are great this beers, guys. I love this porter. Gosh, I almost call it, it, I call it a stout. It's almost a stout, man. Sneaky good. I definitely would recommend uh, adjuncts for that. Because I'm an adjunct junkie. There you are. Cheers, brothers. Cheers. Cheers. Till another uh, episode. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.